Kosovo is a new country that's only been competing on the world stage for less than a decade. Its main sports star is in judo, a woman called Mylinda Kelmendi. It was the situation in her war-torn East European country that propelled her towards judo. This was one. I was just eight years old when uh, we had a war in Kosovo. Me and my family, we couldn't escape from from the house or from the city. So for about three months, we we was inside this house. So after the war, my parents lost their jobs. They closed a lot of factories, but the best thing is that uh, immediately after the war, I started to, to do judo. I just I just wanted to, to become somebody through judo. And you know, when I won uh, Amadel for the first time, my mom and my dad, they was really happy. So I said, yeah, I, I found a way to make my parents happy. A war memorial in Kosovo's capital city, Pristina, to Kosovans killed in the battle for independence. In 2008, the country literally became a newborn. But its government and its sports bodies were shunned, prisoners of international politics. My Linda was making her country and her parents proud. On the mat, success followed success. She became world champion. But could she bring glory to her new country by winning Olympic gold? When I was an uh, ex-Yugoslav national team, I was one of the most promising athletes. And then because of the war starts in ex-Yugoslavia, I canceled my career when I was only 19. Then all these things which I, I couldn't do by myself as athlete, I wanted to, to, to put in my Linda and other athletes, and I think I did it. She was not some extraordinary talent, but when she goes in competition, she, she becomes like lion. Really, I think that she has a big heart for fighting. She's a really fighter. She, she has a big spirit. My mom and my dad did all this. There is no newspaper that they don't have. <laughs> Super, my Linda. <laughs> That's funny. Kosovo's children idolized her. So, my mom goes to my Linda. So, fort, and if we don't go, she's gonna be in English. Because she's strong, she wins a lot of cups, and she, she travels a lot. <laughs> In mid-2016, Mylinda made no secret of her next ambition. This is the cup that I won at the World Championship in Chelyabinsk. When I became the world champion for the second time. So I keep it here in my room and I, I watch it every morning and I think, why not? I can do it. In bars and cafes across Europe, Kosovans gathered to see Mylinda going for gold. Great, great. Well, it means it's a start. It's a good start, and we are on the map. You created history by winning gold for Kosovo. Are you aware of the, the political ramifications for that? What that means politically back home? Well, first of all, that means a lot to me, but uh, the most important thing that that means a lot uh, to my country, not just for sport of Kosovo, that means a lot for Kosovo as a country. I'm so happy that I can uh, help also my country through uh, sport uh, and political side. So yeah, I feel good and I feel blessed that I can help my country. Were you aware when you were out there fighting for the gold how much it would mean to the country? Yeah, I knew that uh, the gold medal from, from the Olympics would mean 
too much for my country. I'm happy that uh, for maybe two or three days I can make happy people in Kosovo, especially kids, which watch me as a hero now. There was more, much more. Parading on a victory bus with the Kosovan team and her coach, Mylinda displayed a powerful symbol of her new country, her fingers spread out like eagle's wings, and later a more personal homecoming. Family means everything to my Linda. A good luck charm given to her by her late grandmother dangles in her car. She gave it to me when I bought the new car. So she said, keep it, it's good for luck. So. Is it working? Yeah, I think so. I never had a, a crash or something. <laughs> my Linda's country is still divided, literally. The territory north of this river, patrolled by European peacekeeping vehicles, is still held by citizens loyal to Serbia. They don't share in Melinda's triumphs. They don't recognize her right to be at the Olympics at all. She could now have any job she wants in her home country. Prime Minister? Why not? says the Prime Minister. <laughs> Of course, we would welcome uh, Malinda to see her in the highest positions possible, and it would be nice to have uh, her uh, as uh, future Prime Minister of Kosovo. Malinda is liked by everyone. She's uh, the queen of Kosovo sports, and she should remain above politics, she should remain above divisions, she should be a symbol of uh, a unity of people getting together and rallying around the flag. For me, uh, here in Kosovo, people love me and support me so much you know uh, there are no monies in this in the world who can uh, bring the feeling that i have here in my country and i see kids who gets inspired from from me who look me as as a hero so you can be a millionaire you can be you can have a lot of monies but it it won't make people respect you wherever you go Mylinda's triumphs are celebrated at her old school, on the wall and in the garden. She's 30 years old now, but she's going for Olympic gold again in Tokyo. And even before she makes a second bid for Olympic glory, she's already been immortalized in stone. Mylinda Kelmendi, a legend in her own lifetime.